Hi everybody, Ted Jordan here with another installment of professional acting for the long haul. Now this week we're going to continue to talk about relocation, when to do it, how to go about doing it, because it is a big deal. Now I talked last week briefly about maybe you're coming from a small town. Now we're in Missouri, so there are a lot of small towns here. The biggest cities here are St. Louis and Kansas City. Now, depending on what's closer to you or maybe what your preference might be, maybe you want to make that small leap first instead of going from podunk somewhere to L.A. or New York. Completely and totally different culture, and it will be a shock to you if you just jump up and do that without doing your proper research. What do I mean when I say that? It means go there. See if you actually like the New York the New York lifestyle. See if you actually like that or not. Maybe LA is more your speed. Again, I have students from St. Louis and New Orleans who have all moved out to Los Angeles and they love it there. They've made their home there and they've established themselves there. And I say good for them. Wherever you wanna go, wherever you desire to go, and whatever you desire to do in this industry, go after it and go after it hard. But first and foremost, always do your research. Don't just take my word for it. I'm giving you bits and pieces of information through these videos, but you need to go out and do your research and do it and do it diligently and make sure you do it. Don't be lazy because laziness can get you tripped up. It can cause you to lose time and money. So you don't want to move somewhere you've never been before. Now, if you have family members in Los Angeles or New York or maybe even Atlanta or somewhere else around the country where you would like to live, then go check it out. Stay there for a week. Hang out with your family and friends for a week. They'll be more than happy to show you around. But also on the professional level, make sure you've connected with some folks on Facebook and other social media sites. Um, when you get out there, maybe you can hook up with them and maybe they can show you around. Give you the lay of the land so you know what to expect once you make that move out there. Or you may find out that it's not really for you and maybe you need to make a different decision. And you know what, that's okay too. It would be a horrible thing, a horrible thing for you just to jump on out there, do it, and then find out that's not really a place you wanna live. For the next several years or even a few months and you end up having to take a Greyhound bus or a flight back home. Now look, I always like to share my experiences with you. Uh, some of them are great, most of them are great, some of them not so great. I remember in the 90s again when I decided to make a move out to LA because back then that was really the place and it still is the place but Atlanta is also a booming bustling metropolis that has a lot of things going on in the industry like game shows, TV shows, and such, just like LA. So back then though, we didn't have too many options. LA was the Mecca. So going back to the story, in the early 90s, I decided to jump up and stay with my wife's uncle for a little while. I was out there for about 90 days, but I jumped up just off of a whim. I was like, oh man, I gotta go. You know, things weren't going that great in my life at the time. And I was like, well, man, I, maybe I should make this change now and things would just turn around. You know, you get desperate sometimes and you do dumb things and dumb results happen. So I get out there, I'm there for 90 days. I stay with my wife's uncle. It was okay. You know, uh, staying with other folks can be kind of tricky. Most of you probably can agree and identify with that. So again, you have to be careful when you do that, but it was okay, it was tolerable. But you know what, I went out there, I didn't have any networking. I didn't have anybody that I actually knew in the business who could show me around, who could give me in, tell me, you know, go here, but don't do this and, and so on. I didn't have that network. It's really important that you have the network. The only thing I got was a temp job for a week, just enough money to get back to New Orleans. That's my story. Now, is that gonna be your story? No, absolutely not. That's why I want you to avoid what I had to deal with. Make your market go from cold to warm. How do you do that? You make connections in that market that you wanna go to. You make connections with other professionals, casting directors, their assistants, other actors, other producers of you know independent film and so on. So when you make that jump six months to a year, it's not cold and you're 
very familiar with the surroundings. You want to go out there because, hey, it's a great place to live. I wouldn't mind raising a family here. These kind of things go through your mind as you make these kind of moves. So, especially if you're single. Now, if you're married, that's a whole different story altogether, and that's a whole nother video. But in the meantime, I went out there and I tried to do my thing, but it didn't happen. It, it just didn't happen. Now, again, I went out and I didn't have a network of people for which I could work with. You need to make that call and find out who is able and who is willing to help you. Now, if you have family and friends out there, fantastic. Don't just assume upon them though. Let them know and ask them if it's okay if you come out there and hang out with them for a while while you get your feet wet. If you can get a transfer from your current job out to that particular market, try to do that also. That way you have a steady income while you're pursuing this thing. You don't want to be a starving artist. Come on, man. You know, it's not romantic at all. It's hard. It can be devastating. Um, it's tough. It's not something you really want to do. But make sure that job is flexible because normal nine to fives aren't really that flexible. Again, I've gone through the whole gambit of that. And, you know, the boss wants you to give you two weeks notice before you can take the movie role. If you've been doing this for a while, you know full well that two weeks is a very long time in this industry and people want you on the spot. They want you within a, within a day or so. So, you know, two weeks doesn't really work. So get with an employer that understands what you're trying to do, but at the same time, you can either do your work from home or it's a very flexible schedule. So when you do have an audition, you can go and they're not tripping off of that. They're not saying, oh, you did that before and, you know, who you're more loyal to. You know, they understand why you're doing it, why you're doing a good job for them, too. Make sure you're doing that. You don't want to burn any bridges unnecessarily. Sometimes you do, but with this, you don't want to do that. You don't want to fool with your income because you want to make sure that you have gas in your car. And if you, you know, if you bring your car to that new state, that new city, or do you just leave it where you are and take public transportation? Again, which one is better for you? I know in LA, all the blocks are a mile long, literally, and you know, public transportation, it takes a while to get around there. So you want your own car, you want that, okay? So you can get around because it gives you more options and you're more free to get around and do what you need to do. Okay, so I hope this was helpful to you. And I think we'll probably go back over it again uh, next week with a little bit more detail. So um, get in touch with us if you would like at Professional Acting for the Long Haul at yahoo.com. You can check out all the videos on our YouTube website. It's a website? No, it's not considered a website, is it? It's just YouTube channel. Yeah, that's fine. It's a YouTube channel. I get it confused sometimes. So YouTube channel and it's uh, Crossing Jordan Entertainment. All right, so have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.